go over to this video and hit the shit out of this poll. We need some votes on this poll. Link will be in the pinned comment and at the top of the description. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, for <fuck's> sake. <clears throat> 69% have voted for a Flemmy Laser Boy. 69%! This is unbelievable! <coughs> the irrationality of Pi. No, E. Uh, never mind. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Meme. Review. Meme. Review. Good morning fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. It's sadly not a meme review. It's actually a very sad day today. Um, a good friend of mine, I have um, posted it into the community section already um, a while back. <clears throat> got sick with Corona and he died today. And yeah, it's about the who would win polls. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> if you don't want to die of Corona, make sure to be heavily guarded with a nice flammable mask, neck gator mouth guard. Does a very good job. Try it out. Link will be at top of the description. Other than that, gotcha nice there, right? To be honest, it's a really sad day today because like, like two or three weeks prior to this video, YouTube announced that they are going to get rid of the video polls in the info box up there for whatever reason. Seriously, um, when I read this the first day, uh, it became public that this is going to be removed. Um, a little world collapsed for me. To be honest, um, it was one of the most unique things my, my channel had. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I was the only channel out there who, who did something of that sort. Like for the last two weeks, uh, for the last two years by now, um, I, I put those who would win polls into each and every video. There hasn't been one video where it wasn't in there um, since some La Laplace integral video. And we are going to talk about this in a second. And here, today is the last day where you can actually vote. After that, it's it's going to be gone. The the thing that made my channel to to one really unique channel, the, the who would win polls, and and I for myself really loved reading who won. It, it was always so much fun. In the normal case, the, the rule of thumb is that the boy always wins, but there have been occasions when the boy didn't win, and that was really interesting to me. And to be honest, um, I can't believe that they are going to get rid of this feature at the end of the day. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of um, this really hit, hits deep. I don't know. It's it's really it makes me really sad that they are removing this this feature just because um, only two percent of channels use this feature, which is still a lot of channels using this feature um, if you think about it. So yeah, we are going to see where it all started with the who would win polls. We are going to go through some who would win polls just um, for the sake of nostalgia. And today there's a very special poll up there with a lot of options. Choose wisely. Who would win? We are going to dive right in. I have my uh, who would win assistant here today, Snack. Microphone Snack. Say hello. Hello everyone, my name is Snack. Hey, hello Snack. And do you want to tell me um, what was the first who would win poll? Well, Baba Flemmy, the first who would win poll was the one on the... One video where you have fought the mathematicians and the dominated convergence theorem. You are right on this one. Um, we are going to take a look at YouTube now and see what this video actually is. You, you probably know it if you are subscribed to this channel. So we have to go quite a bit back. I, I think it's on the third page of the um, first videos I have ever posted. Um, it was barely when I started with the English videos. And here it should be it. There, there I started with the weird thumbnails, so um, all the meme stuff really picked up a pace um, in this frame of time. And also we had like, oh, pr pretty good old video destroying the, the Dirichlet integral and letting it burn in the same circle of hell. And also integra uh, integrating one weird Sharpie boy. Other than that, um, there was this one time when I fought against 
several mathematicians and it should be this video, a ridiculously awesome integral, the best thing you are going to see this weekend. Let us take a look at that. So here's where the fun began. So, so right before this video came out, um, I experimented a bit around with the, with the info boxes. I didn't know before that something like this was possible and I was making use of that. And I actually noticed that you could post polls up there. And, and it was this time around, oh, starting 2018 when those um, who would win two picture things really picked up in the mathematical meme community. And this is where I started too with that back then. And the first poll we ever had was this one. Who would win? One Laplacian boy or Euler's fat mom? <laughs> oh goodness. I think Euler's fat mom won just for the memes. Who would have thought? Yeah, 67% voted for Euler's fat mom. Um, yeah, and this is where it all started. And after that, on each and every video, we can find a certain poll. Yes, all right. This is the first one of the three uh, beautiful result in calculus videos. And here we have the who would win poll. And who would win? One flammy boy or mathematics greatest minds? And one flammy boy um, won by a high margin, all right? So yeah, um, quite a cool thing. And do you know why it makes me really sad that we don't have those anymore just because um, this is one more interaction that I'm not going to have with you, my subscribers anymore. Um, I, I love interacting with you. I just love going through seriously all the comments. Many people told me that, yeah, you're using a bot. No, I'm reading each and every comment. If there's a heart under your comment, then I have definitely read it. And if there's like an emoticon there, then I have read your comment and I have replied on my own to you. Even if it's just a little, um, yeah, ch just a smiling emoticon in, in some way, I have replied to you. I have noticed that, that you are there. And this is something that I'm never ever going to drop, even with a million subs. I want to interact with you, my subscribers out there, and I just can't stop because I love it. If it weren't for this community, I would have already stopped with YouTube. Um, because um, I don't see the point in doing YouTube without a community. So, so I could never be like, I don't know, um, other YouTubers who just don't react to, to their comments down there. Not to each and every comment. And it doesn't matter if you are a big channel. You can always find the time to at least try to interact with your subscribers. And uh, if you stop with this, then, then I don't know. You are not a YouTuber in my opinion. You are just someone who just wants money and views in, in some way and just wants to mass produce videos. And there are also way too many math channels out there doing exactly this. And I hate it and I really hate it. I never want to become like this. So yeah, let us go through a few more polls. I'm going to pick out some videos. I don't know what they are going to be or what the polls are, but it's certainly going to be a lot of fun. So, integrating an absolute monster, my first April Fool's video, Paul is the papa shit. <laughs> Not a who would win Paul, but doesn't matter. Yeah, nah, yeah has won, papa is indeed shit. Next up is the next one of the beautiful result in calculus um, video series. And who would win? A limit boy or fine man? To Leibniz a couple of days. Ah, was a close call, but the boy has won. The boy always wins, which isn't true because in the very first poll, the boy already lost. So yeah, that kind of sucks. So here's the meme that I put into the original Who Would Win video. Um, it was just, yeah, I don't know, it was just funny. Many people liked it. It was the first time that I fought against thin air in some way. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Let us take a look um, at what we got here. Who would win? A flammy laser boy or Flemmy's fat mom? 69% have voted for a flammy laser boy. It was probably a, a Diodica thing, a Diodica sponsorship in some way. I've lost that sponsor so quickly because, um, yeah, they just went bankrupt and never heard of them again. But I have sold some lasers with my assistants. Next up, let us go through a few more. Let us pick some random ones. Who would win? Some circular boy or Papa Riemann and the boy has won. Exactly. Who would win? A Taylor series or some squiggly boy? I think the squiggly boy is a pretty uh, funny word to be honest, aren't it? 69%! This is unbelievable! 
that the thing is 69% is like this 1 over e thing, so this probability with the 1 over e and and yeah, something thing and, and 1 minus 1 over e thing and it happens so often that you get 69% on a random poll in some way and this was for the Laplace transform of cosine squared 80 and sine squared 80, ah, oh, 69%. Here's a vlog that, that I created, check out my vlogs, they are actually pretty nice in, in my opinion, not, not many people watch them because they are here for the mathematics, but in, in my opinion I'm doing kind of a good job with the with the vlogs, um, I, I mean I'm putting in some, some effort and they turn up really nicely. So <laughs> who would win? The mountain police or one lost boy? I think the mountain police. No, one lost boy. No way the boy could lose. Never, ever. And now, the rationality of pi. No, e. <laughs> Never mind. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> Who would win? E or a classic boy? It's gonna be E. It's gotta be E, right? 67%. So close to 69% yet again. You see? Okay, um, who would win? A motherfucking Jojo reference or Putnam boy? It's this is probably the Jojo reference. No, it's a Putnam boy. Can't believe it. Can't believe it, honestly. <laughs> so this video here, this was at a time where I have um, posted quite a lot of videos from other YouTube users or just uh, other people in general because I reached like 25,000 subs there and yeah uh, I am still true to my word I don't want it to happen that you just become numbers I know that you guys are people out there and and each and every subscriber counts and I tried to interact with you back then and I wanted you to submit videos to me and I'm going to post it on my channel and and quite a few people for example Xander Gauss got got quite a nice following over the time so yeah um, if you are watching Xander this is for you other than that um, who's going to win Papa Jack or a minimum boy? It's going to be the boy, right? Yeah, the boy has won. Next up, this has been a video by George Cooper. George Cooper, he's a really nice guy. Um, if you're out there, George, please, please comment down there. I'm missing you. Okay, who would win? Papa George or one B-boy? The B-boy has won just because it's an MIT integration B video here. Who would win? Papa's first time or non-homo boy? This is a really hard question. Um, I would go for Papa's first time because it's kind of funny, but a non-homo boy is also really funny. Papa's first time has won. I know what my community wishes, what my community is seeking. Here we have this really clickbaity update video that I have once posted. I have posted this question on Quora back then. Um, no one could really answer me. Oh, this was just a poll for a video series um, on, on something. Yes, Papa. Oh, 96% voted yes, Papa. Yes, Papa, Johnny, Johnny, no, Papa. Ah, uh, yeah, he, here's one with a really clickbaity title. Only one in 10,000 can solve the real solution to the impossible Euclidean puzzle. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't break in title. Oh, it's amazing. It's, it, it's a form of art. And this was the time around where I still grabbed some stuff out of the shelf next to my chalkboard and I just said, have a, uh, I don't know, scientific American day. Oh, good old times. This has been such a long time ago. Who would win? Euclid or an impossible boy? The lit has lost. I can't believe it. So here we have another vlog in Croatia. I was there with my wife. We weren't married yet when we were there. Okay, who would win? No, not November or the urge to fab? Mmm, <laughs> quite a spicy question, am I right? Um, I suppose Triple N is going to win. The urge to fab has 69%. I can't believe it. This is, this is hella great. This is amazing. My community is just the best. I love it. Oh, guys, thank you for just being there. I can't believe it. This thumbnail duck me fatty. Oh, goodness. This channel, this freaking channel. If my if my students find, find out that I have a channel like this, oh, goodness. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Who would win? Swallowed foam or one duck boy? I believe the swallowed foam. No, the duck boy has won. 
Goodness, um, I have swallowed some some foam that it, there was like a foam party going on and, and I swallowed the stuff and my throat was hurting so badly for two whole days. It was was absolutely ridiculous. Don't swallow foam. It's, it's not good for your throat. Okay, um, th that's certainly quite a great thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Damn daughter! Oh, this is so lazy. My goodness. Who would win? A positive message or one absolute boy? Ah, it's, it's the boy yet again. It's always the boy. Okay, oh goodness. It's the funny frog meme <laughs> on the thumbnail. Mm, was the only craft theory video I, I ever did. Who would win? Le Nomi Meme or One Directed Boy? Le Nomi Meme? Oh, it won by such a small margin. That was a close call. And now, there are infinitely many primes. A classic proof by your boy Euclid, I suppose. Who would win? <laughs> a Camel Toe or One Clitty Boy? It's gotta be the Camel Toe. No, it's the Tlit. It's the Tlit. I can't believe it. And now here was a really unique poll on the first Mavengers. Um, I think we had like five options there. Who would win? Oh, <laughs> oh, shame on me. I voted for myself. Who would win? One Flemmy Boy, the Mavengers, free blue and brown, Payam or non-existent Mav Parker. Uh, Mav Parker. Matt Parker. Free blue and brown won because all of the people who watch this video are just freaking normies, okay? You guys want university mathematics, then don't watch Free Blue and Brown. Watch something else instead, all right? <sighs> Give this. This aggravates me all the time. It's, it's like with the who would win stuff, with this tournament stuff on mathematical mathematic memes. On the one hand, the, the rules for mathematical mathematic memes on Facebook are only university maths allowed. Do not post memes which are not university maths and no pi equals three. And then people, on there still vote for free blue and brown and he's going to win just because yeah on the one hand people want university stuff and on the other hand they are voting for free blue and brown which doesn't make any sense because this is really not um, high mathematics what he's covering this is like a contradiction to me it's it's kind of um yeah it's kind of hypocritical of those people if you ask me our oh, controversial opinion intensifies okay let us move forward a tiny little bit who would win? Papa Kuramoto or one Japanese boy? Papa versus boy is really critical. We never know who's going to win. It was the Papa. I knew it. I knew that the Papa is going to win. Ah, can't believe it. Can't believe it. Okay, um, who would win? <laughs> Freak you dead. You gay man, <laughs> one arc lengthy boy. Oh, I think this was um, w when I said, um, if you zoom in close enough, then, then every curve becomes straight. And I said, this is like the cure for, um, you know what, if you become straight, all right. Um, <laughs> I think the first one won, yes, <laughs> Baba Gay. And then arc length of a cardioid, who would win? The old intro or one polar arc length boy? Oh. Has this been the first video where, where I have used the, the intro that we are using now? Um, I for myself really liked the, the intro that we are using um, here on this channel, so, so I'm going to keep this forever and ever. By the way, if you were ever on, wondering, it's, it's from the Boku no Hero Academia soundtrack. I can't remember the title for shit, but it's, it's somewhere out of the soundtrack. If you know what the soundtrack is, you, you, some of you probably do, then, then please post the link down there for the people who are interested. I think the old intro is going to win. No, one polar arc boy. I have switched because I was able to turn it to 69%. Oh, interesting. Mm, that's nice. One weird integral. Who would win? The product integra or one forgotten LN boy? I have forgotten an LN somewhere, right? Ah, oh, goodness. Ah, oh, the LN one. Sound partner boy, who would win? Hashtag bleh. <laughs> one sun boy. <laughs> one sun boy. Sometimes I don't know what to put in those, uh, into those, uh, those polls. But yeah, um, this was probably one of the um, polls where I didn't know what to put in there. I think the sun is going to win. That was a close call, by the way. Here we have a meme review. Ah, who would win? A meme or one May May boy? I think the May May is going to win. Disappointed! I'm disappointed! A meme has won. I can't believe it. Uh, and there we go. This is the video where I eat Luchalk. Where I eat Luchalk. Who would win? Snort the chalk, you freaking blab? Or one Hakoromo boy? I mean, 
the boy had no chance here, let's be honest. <laughs> and this is where, like, um, this is the meme video I, I posted before my Hagoromo Chaik re review. For some odd freaking reason, my, my Hagoromo Chaik review um, is, is one of my most watched videos ever. Um, we don't have a poll here. I'm going to create one. Go over to this video and hit the shit out of this poll. We need some votes on this poll. Link will be in the pinned comment and at the top of the description. Can't believe I forgot a poll on a video. I can't believe it. I'm a disappointment. I'm going to go for the forgotten poll. All right. Can we keep the votes up to 100%? I'm wondering. And ah, oh, I factorial. There was a cool video. Um, I, I really love my Maps Next series. There was some really interesting maps in there. It's especially my favorite one is the Unit Circle 101 and the Origami 101. I really like this. Who would win? I Victoria or one Victoria iBoy? I oh, I Victoria has won for for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> this was the video where I was in a sand hole that that I have um, dug out on our vacation. <gasps> Who would win? Vsauce, Flemmy or one Sandy Boy? I believe Vsauce. The Sandy Boy has won. I have lost completely. Total defeat on my part. Can't believe it. You guys are disgusting. Gauss multiplication formula in elementary proof without Sterling. I love this video. I love the stuff being covered there. Who would win? This more fucking theorem or one multiplication boy? The, the boy has won with 69%. This is unbelievable. And now here's my most watched video. It's going to reach 1 million views pretty soon. If you haven't watched it already, watch it! Mathematicians versus physics classes be like... Who would win? The Papa or one Andrew boy? Yeah, for sure Andrew is going to win. He has more followers than me. Goodness. Oh, there was my 69 420 subscriber special. Uh, let us see. Who would win? Again, three, three things. 69 for 20 subscribers, one for 20 boy or one 69 grill. This is the first poll where we have a grill. I can't believe it. Amazing. Who would win? The brass. <laughs> yeah, I have used the brass substitution there. Oh, good old time. So many videos. Or one sec boy. The boy has not won. The brass up has won. Obviously, it's, it's superior. And now for the last three polls. Let's go for the Mathvengers. Let us go for the video with Zach and let us go for the most recent video. All right, as for the video with Zach, who would win, the NG or one math boy? Right choice, right, right choice. I, I give it to you, good one, good one. Uh, who would win? Woo! Five people again. The Math Avengers, epic math time. Dylan Hamburglar, <laughs> Andrew, my fat dot son. <laughs> One oily boy. Uh, obviously, it's the Mavengers. And the last poll of the most recent video that I have just posted um, today. Um, today's Monday, by the way. A small snack. Who would win? The joke is that the answer, pi, is the snack. That was kind of a creative poll. I'm going for the first one. Congrats to you. How many people have voted already? We have about 3,000 3, views already and about 162 responses. And this is why I love it so much. So many people engage with those polls here. And it, it really saddens me that, that, yeah, this is going to be the last day of the polls out there. Um, I'm probably not going to do something like pinning a straw poll each and every video down there, maybe on, on some occasions. It's just not going to be the same and I don't know, I would just like YouTube to, to bring it back at, at some point. It's just, I'm going to miss it so much and I'm, and I hate that I'm going to, and uh, not going to be able to interact with you guys um, more than, uh, we, we are just losing something. It, it annoys me. It's, it's just like with the new comment section on the mobile version of, of YouTube. They, they have hidden the comment section so hard. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I can't believe it what they did there too. They are kind of getting rid of all the um, social things that you could do, of the social element of YouTube. It's, it's just 
a money printing machine for most people, I suppose. It's just kind of annoying. But I hope you did enjoy this little bit of nostalgia. If you did, please like and subscribe, make a comment, channel if you like. Like I said before, um, if you want to protect yourself, make sure to get yourself this crazy ass nice Flamble Mav Snack Gator. It's a really nice mouth guard, it fits pretty well. It looks good, I mean that the color looks pretty good. It, it's affordable. Uh, sin, since Corona, I have actually re reduced the price of this thing by, by like $9 or something. I'm receiving basically nothing if you put, uh, purchase this. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's just good for you. It's, it's going to help you to stay safe. And also, um, yeah, it looks good. So yeah, if you want one, then get yourself one. Other than that, subscribe to the second channel, please, Flammy2. A lot of math videos over there. And thank you guys for watching. Please do the poll up there. It's really important to me and the community, if you ask me. And other than that, I'm wishing you guys a flamble day. I'm going to see you in the next video. Ciao.